Doug Thompson, we're in the shop today, and I wanted to show you my portable horizontal press that I built for primarily working with uh, handrail in the field, but I use it all the time for other projects, especially if I'm bending something hot in the forge area, I'll oftentimes use this little bender. Kevin Potter USA got this from Kevin, and it's an entirely contained hydraulic setup with the motor. The pump is in the uh, oil bath, and here's the valving system. What I've done is I've created this cart so I can move it around the job site easily. So by lifting up on that raw, the tube, then I can go ahead and use it like a hand cart and move it around the job site. I place this block here so that the part is in the center line of the cylinder. So for example, if I've got a handrail and I need to bend it, I'll go ahead and set everything up and I can just gently push it. And I'm kind of watching the scale because if the scale breaks, I know that I've bent it a little bit. So if I have a template or I'm just working by eyeball, I can very easily bend it and it'll, it'll bend much bigger bar than this. And if I were to overbend something, I'm merely going to turn it around and take the bend out. So I might come in and say, I got too much bend and I'll take it out a little bit. And I just wanted to show you my method of bending. I'm not going to put a series of marks on a bar that I need to straighten out. This bar is three eighths by an inch and a quarter. I've got a little bend in it and I've put letters just kind of spaced out equally, A, B, C, D. And then I can use those letters to quickly identify the, the point at which I've got to bend it. As opposed to just putting, you know, marks in a bar where you're going to get lost. You won't remember where you're at. I like to put numbers or letters along the bar and then I'll go ahead and straighten it out and I can quickly check to see where on the bar I'm going to need to continue to, to bend it. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and straighten it out and I'll straighten this bar out. So I look at it and I can tell, okay, I've got to bend a little bit more at D. So I'll go ahead and do that. I've got to bend a little bit at C. If I overbend it, then I'll flip it over. And I'm just trying to creep up on this dimension. I've almost got it. I may have to bend it at B.5, in other words, halfway between B and C. 